Sorry, should I sit? If you want. Nice bones. I just, I like to take in a space when I enter it. I'm studying architecture and they sort of train us to always be aware of our surroundings. I really like your office. Thank you. DIY? I'm sorry? Uh, did you do it yourself or did you use an interior decorator? No, no. I. So this is all you? Mm hmm. I'm impressed. April begins the session by setting Paul up for a transference test. In the setup to a transference test, a patient puffs up the therapist's ego the way she did with her parents leaving the therapist feeling good about himself and maybe even grinning like a fool. Therapists can catch on to what the patients are up to by monitoring their own inner reactions, which Paul fails to do in this case. April initiates the transference test in hope that Paul will not traumatize her the way her parents would when she tells him her problem. April evidently has doubts that Paul will pass the test, because she first coaches him on how not to act by telling him about a disagreeable former therapist. Uh, no, I, I saw somebody at school. They give you nine weeks for free over the course of a school year, so. Nine weeks, that's, that's not long. Well, it would have been plenty if she hadn't been such a fucking idiot. First of all, uh, Jennifer, was barely older than me. One of those girls who, you could just tell she became a therapist because she didn't know what else to do with her life. She was just waiting for some rich doctor in a bad marriage to crawl into her office and fall in love with her so she could give up the whole charade. I could just tell when I was sitting there in front of her, she was thinking, this girl is a complete waste of time. And what told you that? I don't know, it was just this feeling I had, this polite glaze in her eye. Also, she told me the same story twice, which was pretty disheartening. Paul then annoys April by missing the point and becoming interested in the stupid story the previous therapist told her twice. So w what was the story, the one that she told you twice? It's not significant. Um, it, I mean, it's not even a story. It's more of a joke. You probably know it. Maybe not. Try me. Paul eventually convinces April that he is better than her former therapist, so she trusts him with her secret, which is that she has cancer. I can't get the words out of my mouth. Can I write it down? Of course. do you feel? Tired. What type of cancer is it? You know what? I... I don't, I, I don't really want to talk about it. I, um... I just wanted to tell someone. April has essentially told no one about her cancer, not even her parents, and she makes it clear that her parents would become hysterical if she told and would force a decision on her, which is the kind of trauma she is attempting to avoid. So how does Paul react? He reacts just as her parents would, thereby failing April's test.
This is ridiculous. Everybody at some point in their lives needs help. And I think that you need help now. You haven't heard a word I've said. I think that you need to have a conversation that takes place outside your own head. I think you need to talk to your oncologist. I think you need to tell her that you're considering alternate therapies. I think you need to ask her how she thinks you should proceed. And you do need to tell your parents. Just stop it. You're, you're, stop you're it. Stage stop three. It. Stop it. How dare you tell me what to do? You do not know me. Do you, do you formulate your little theory as soon as I walked in? Young girl cancer, this is an easy one. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're right. I don't. Would you like to tell me? You know, I, I have to go. Uh, our time's up. April, I'm sorry that you felt I was telling you what to do before I've, I've gotten to know you, but I do think that we should schedule another session. Uh, let me think about it. Um, how, how was Friday, Friday afternoon? You know, I actually, uh, I, I don't know my schedule this week. I'll call you when I get back to the dorm. And w when do you think that will be? Uh, I don't know. April. This time is very crucial. So I hear. So, what about the session? Uh, I'll call you, okay? Thank you. Therapists should try their best to pass their patient's test, but that was not possible here. Paul acted correctly. <laughs> 